Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Richard, and I'm here with another video. So today we're gonna to talk about this this lockdown. We're we'll going. So um, on March 21st, the Prime Minister Andrew Wallace announced some of the most strict lockdown or measures to date. Boy, and you a dangerous man, you know, the man just done with government badness and switch to crocodile teeth. Everything get fucked when him read. Jesus Christ. Now, when you can see that by um, clicking on the card right up top. Yeah, man. That's probably the first and only time I've ever, ever referred to the cards. But, anyways, um... So yeah, we have that. So in a this measure now, Monday to Fridays, Mondays to Fridays, the regular curfew, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. I mean, in other countries, countries have curfew starting at midnight to 5 a.m. Can you believe it? Countries have 10 p.m., countries have 11 p.m. And we are doing, I think we are doing well, I don't know. And... Or start 8 o'clock 8 o'clock but on Good Friday on every weekend uh, um, alright so basically on Fridays on all the Fridays until April 13 employers will be um, required to send home their employees at noon so then can go do them shopping and then shopping will be allowed until noon on the following day, the, the Saturday, right? And then no, no movement until Monday morning at 5 a.m., right? So I'm saying, right, and then Good Friday now is also a part of that now, where you have until 12 for day shopping, and then lockdown. Alright, cool. So that goes to Easter Monday. Eh, we don't know. We can go watch the video and see what I'm saying. Now, so we are talk about this briefly. This curfew. Now, I think this curfew, uh, as strict as, as it is, I think one of the reasons why this curfew is so painful is because of how slowly it heat at us. It heat at us. Very slowly. Yes, the numbers are getting out of honor scan to them. But me feel like say cause firstly them have back case. Them have cases much much weaker back and them are clear up the case then. Alright, so even assume say the case them um case them clear up. What people need to realize eh? cause they talk about even positivity rate. They talk about the positivity rate. They must say them test, if they test a thousand person and then get 500 person positive, that's a positivity rate of 50%. And we can understand that. We can agree with that. Right? But, what a man need to realize, that I means say 50% of the, the population have it. Because the sample size, the sample where you get, is not, <laughs> is not, um, is not a, a good sample. To use to judge the entire population because you get a sample of a thousand persons right but you get a sample of a thousand persons who you suspect you have reasonable suspicion that they have the virus based on the fact that they have either symptoms of the virus or they have come into contact with someone with symptom of the virus or they have come into contact with someone who has the virus right so you have a reason to test them. It's not like you're testing at random. So you cannot use that <laughs> as, a, as, a, as, a, as a basis to say, yes, th this means a 50%. It, it, it's, 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 it's ludicrous. And to use something like that, use false information like that then, to, to go and make policies, is very misleading. And, and, and it, it's, it's quite appalling, I, I might add. It, it it's it doesn't make a lot of sense at least not to me no as me say they might eat away at our freedom first it was all right cool 
um, curfew 10 to 5 and then it went to 8 and then they relaxed it again back to 10 and then it come back down to 8 and then we were saying, we were all here thinking, what's the next? They're just going to lock down the country. Which is, which I would support. I would say lock down the country for two weeks. Now, all of these corona vaccines that they are buying, which I'll get to in a while, in a bit. They are buying these vaccines that nobody no want. Right? Where people no go want. Why waste the money on that? Just give, just buy up a portion of food. Just buy enough food. Toiletries, whatever, whatever. Right? And just care go give people. Just care go give people, everybody in Jamaica, we need it. And just lock down the country for one three week and then you send out a test of them and test everybody just go and test people test people if them even sneeze even cough test people if they eat and then choke one something test them test everybody just test every person right no movement get the police get the military upon the road make sure say nobody now move unless they have a reason for, for move all right cool when you do that after two weeks anybody who have the virus will be found out Anybody who don't have the virus will will be found out. And then we can just go on. We can relax all of the curfew and everything. Because then we'll have no no cases, right? We do that for a month at the most. Right? We we're good. I mean, yes, you got the woman now have nothing to do. Right? Except watch TV and masturbate. But at least would that would, would that figure would that be better than where we are doing now because what, what are we doing we are locking down we are locked down right curfew and they are saying that um andrew is saying that it's selfish for people to break the curfew it's selfish all right talk about selfishness how is that selfish you have people in them yard and can't go to entertainment these people are used to going to party i mean i i'm not going to any parties but these people are, a lot of these people are used to going to parties and now we are telling them that they should stay at home how is that going to work it's unrealistic right it's unrealistic and this is why we are seeing a lot of the the things that we are seeing right now a lot of how we are seeing things play now is because of this what they are doing is they are taking away our freedom little by little and it's more painful that way it's more painful than if they just went out one swoop and just bam lock down for however long and then we just get rid of that and we get on with the business of life but what they are doing is they are dragging it out because first and foremost the virus never need to go to reach jamaica the virus never need to reach here because remember it never need to get so bad because we could have locked down with, with borders we could have started screening people from before COVID was here, we wait on COVID to come here. And then when time COVID is here now, that is when we start putting the measures. Yeah? Right? And it and, and the argument was COVID was always going to reach here. Yes, because you were always going to allow it to reach here. The government was always going to allow it to reach here in the name of in the name of tourism. Alright, let's talk about tourism for a second. Jamaica healthcare sector, right? public health care which is what tourists would most likely get is not is one of um of with no user fee it's not free but there's no user fee right so i'm saying for medical necessary sir um procedures it's free so when a person comes from overseas and come here and we give them even a band-aid how does that benefit us where is the benefit in that that is my question and that's how always been my question where is the benefit in us bringing down people down here to find out that they have covid 19 to treat them for free how does that benefit jamaica right and that is what happened that's what happened so now we are because we have to be enduring curfew in the middle of the day at noon you are telling people that 12 o'clock in the day, them for that them yard. 12 o'clock in the day, I mean, we went 3 o'clock on public holiday. And I can understand 3 o'clock public holiday. But 12 o'clock and then burials. Oh my God. Burials. So, with burials, you know, 
we are talking about um with, with, with burials now we are talking about um 15 people remember in just last week it were, burials were just the officiating clerk purple and what, what do the burial and not even family member no mourners <laughs> and i'm saying they think something like that would sit well i mean i am not really into you know this whole business of getting too emotionally uh, um about someone who has died i mean if they have died they're dead you know that's it but a lot of people want to say goodbye to their quote-unquote loved ones to their family members who have died but they keep putting pressure on funerals all right but on the other hand although it has been reduced a little Weddings are, are now, have now moved from 25 person to 15 person, which don't make no sense because the regular gathering limit is 10 person. So how does that make any kind of sense? So I'm saying, what you're saying is, if me and my friend them gather up, like 20 away, gather somewhere, all we need to do is just say, no man, no worry yourself man, we have a wedding. That don't make no sense. Weddings, weddings can be officiated as you rightfully pointed out mr wholeness with five persons they officiate the bride the groom and of course the two wickedness we don't need nobody else right so this this curfew you know and these spike whether which i i believe are artificial these spikes in covid 19 cases is going to lead to a lot of persons running to take an untested and treat uh, 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 untested vaccine for which um if it gives you side effect you have no redress neither by suing the government nor by suing um the company that makes it and let's listen to this short clip about the ceo of pfizer why has the CEO of Pfizer, the company that makes the COVID-19 vaccine, not taken the vaccine himself? CEO Albert Barola had a scheduled trip to Israel. But because he hasn't taken the vaccine, he's not able to go. Barola was asked in a recent interview why he hasn't taken the vaccine. For you, I heard you have not yet had uh, your shot. When do you plan to get it? Sooner. <laughs> Uh, I can, I will. Uh, maybe is that uh, I don't want to, uh, to, to to have an example that I'm uh, cutting the line. But uh, I am uh, uh, 59 years old, in good health. I'm not working in the front line. When's the last time a rich person didn't cut in line? But I guess we have to take Mr. Barola at his word. That's like owning a restaurant but not eating there. That's a little odd to me. Pfizer. Right, so the other thing before we get deep into this vaccine thing is this: Why, since there, when I look at the the graph that the that the primes are shown, persons within the age group that are the ones that are um going to parties that I would I would assume are going to parties, right? So let's say between eighteen to to forty. These persons are not dying at an extremely high rate. These persons are not being hospitalized at an extremely high rate. So yeah, what well, you want to do? Why not vaccinate these people and send them out and they can go enjoy themselves? Because it is next to impossible to police these people. What are you going to do? You're going to ticket all of them and then when they don't have the money to pay, what are you going to do? What's your next step? What What's your next move? Well, you're going to have the whole of them on Highway 2000 and pick up um, plastic. You say you're going to gather them around on Highway 2000 in very close proximity, picking up trash. That's what, that's, what, that's what you are planning to do next. That's your next move. Because that don't make no kind of sense, you know. Good. 
to show you know, look what you need. You see? Mm -hmm. No vaccine. Send it to my phone now. Tell you know, bro, so I'm not just a system, you know, bro. So I'm not saying, who don't tell me about the system? When me not know, I'm not understand, I'm not sick. I remember, brother, you still go back to. I me not trust the system, and you know that from day one, brother. Me always a rebel about the system, bro. Car, the whole thing is just a trick. Everything with them do a trick, brother. Every single thing, from one to ten to a thousand to a million, and you can't go up till it's zero out back. Till it's nine, everything nine. I be a general ship here. Yeah, man. And then you see it, man. You see it, you know. Is it, man? You see it, see what I go on. You know what I mean? Well, that one, yeah, be a face, though. That one, yeah, be a face. You know what I mean? They wouldn't even pretend they want the 100% be a face. Honestly, see? I mean, I can't predict. But, you know, so as God live it, three quarter, I think them would end up be a face. As God live it. It's like, it have your say pigeon in a, in a, never even in a plate in the first place. For you look, you can see a tree plate then use. Enough things. Me, me, me don't know. As I said, because I'm me not trust them, so I pay attention when they try work a trick. The smoke screen never work for me. As God live at the smoke, the smoke screen never work. I tell you, no. first and foremost, when Corona just come out, they say only who sick supposed to wear a mask. Then, bam! Bam, I said to somebody, say, why? Why is it only who sick should wear a mask? I'm a researcher and then said it's particles and oh, you can catch it even through your pulse and this and that and whatever, whatever. All right. Then go on, then go on, then go on. Then it after a year. Everybody supposed to wear a mask. Wait there. Then if you make up their mind. So it's like, and when you realize the protocol of them, they, they make up a, 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 um, something and like it not even make no sense. Some protocol not even make no sense sometimes. So something not right. So when me not trust them and them, me not trust them, can me not believe in them? Uh, listen to me now, sir. We have to make policies based on the information that we have available to us, sir. So yes, we first say that people who are sick should wear the mask. But when we get better information, we see that everyone needs to wear the mask, sir. So wear your mask. Them all foolishness, as me say, look on the art school. What the art school them turn college? So where is the school for the person them like me when I have much education and need a, a trade and need for those needs and need a brush up? They're supposed to different, different level. Most of the youth, let me see what they do crime. No for them in a brenner. No for them and, and make and start making the gun, you know. You see me? No for them start to make one made gun. If then they have a place, could I go? Why are uh, why they they arm in a take somebody? Why they kill them? Why they not take them and carry them and go get them trade? Think about when me I say, put it on a deep level now. Not for them, you the way you say a digger of people like you know, brother, then can't take them and carry them, go tell them in a locksmith, you know, locksmith put them in the army, have them in that work with them. No, why not look into what you say now? Real thing, you know, you out a whole heap of things you are chat with us. So, the man they need to do a little better than that man. No, maybe I first had pre the meds, brother. This not supposed to fix. If crime not do what they do with police, what they might do with soldier if, if people not commit crime. But tell you every day. See, we get a different version, a different level. Listen again, bro. The system creates a system so for them system can work. That's how them want it. You will always have the hop, upper class and the upper class and the middle class and the lower class and the lower, 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 lower class. And that's how them want it. If it not stay like that, who are gonna go run back at them and say, Yeah! Listen to me, no man. You see this, this thinking that there is a second class and a first class and a third class? It is absolutely rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Sometimes, you know, it's just that those persons were easier to catch, so we, we managed to catch those persons. But um, the other persons, we, we are unable to catch them because... And remember, you know, we have very limited resources in this country, you know. We can't just be catching every time they can hurry, you know. We have to catch those that we can catch. Yeah, me don't trust the system, bro. Me don't trust them. They play too much games. Look up at the game that they saw. Eh? Them shadows do some smoke screen or something, you know the little way that? Like how Michael Jackson have his man and shoes where everybody thinks and just go down on the screen. So even that, just try something. Now. It be a face, yeah, but honestly, them always be a face. As God live it, they always be a face. God tell me when he called the jump of my moon. The deporter was shoot the man um last year. Was shoot the uh, shoot up the police them uh, uh, 
I want Windsor to away for Spanish town, you know. Though. All right. Him, him do that, right? And by when the evening, then catch him a, 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 a town and kill him. What about the other ways to kill them? Why do not kill the other ways to kill them too? We who kill certain people. As a man kill certain people, you know, he get catch. So, what you tell me, say? You try to tell me, say, whatever they do, they couldn't do it. No, we don't have the money. And we not important. We don't have the money, we not important. But when they're ready for use whatever technology they have to use, though, remember, you bust a shot right, your son, by your bust the shot. Me read a Beanie Man said the other day, Beanie Man said, Oh, he does see certain things happen. Hope we him up in a cherry garden side. Now listen to me now, man. What Beanie Man said was extremely unfortunate. You should be happy we are not sending um, the, the police up there. I mean, after it, it, it's not a ghetto. These, those people up there are very law abiding. We don't have to check on them, you know. It's just the unruly, unruly people in the ghetto, in the middle of bushes, far away from the roadside, having these elaborate parties. That's why, you know, we, they, they were in the party and they were like feet away. So when we come there, we, we know what exactly what to do. We put them up in a truck, all of them, you know, all of them in this one small truck. That's what we do, right? These people need to behave themselves. That, that all just like, maybe that all even make them pressure more and get to you to finna get rich. You get it? Because being a man come from nothing at all and reach up in a society and then can defend the poorer set, the poorer class. That's Maybe that's why they fight so much poor people too when you really check it. When they say you can't help yourself. Because they can't afford for you to help yourself. Because remember, you know, you know them not real because you know the fight of them give you. And like say you buy your born up in a society and you don't know you get special treatment go right through. Remember say for your family rich in a brother. And at the end of the day for your family rich and for your school fee even lesser than the poor man one. Oh boy. You know much years you know how much years now my baby mother try to forget my kids then pump out? As I said something the other day. You say you then come down you have a TV or what or what. At you? And your your house have a tear deteriorate certain way. You have to make sure you say a one room you have to make sure the amount that different don't scale you have to have to get the help you get it the amount that you need remember I help you want you know i help you want so if then ones come there you have pit tight that mean you're rich come on come on look for me now somebody help me for push my house to where it is then right i may have the house but a man that come down and mother say, I need help to put on a little bathroom or something. But he must say, No, sir. You have a two bedroom house. You're not qualified to get help. You get that? So it doesn't make no sense. It's just a game. They never play with the people. Them. It's just a game and everything is an excuse. But as I said to you, it's the poorer set. Because of them, same man run back at them. And then them, same man turn on a ball. Me can't believe. Me can't, um, why did he even believe in the first place? <laughs> Listen, no man, we have to ensure that whatever help the state can can give to people, that the persons who are most in need of it, the persons who are most in need of it, they get it. You realize? You realize that we didn't go to people's house and pick up their 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 dogs. We went on the street, sir, and we took up those dogs that had no owner. We didn't go to people's yard with their ten, fifteen thousand dogs that they have there that needs so a, a proper home. We didn't go there, we went to the street. You, you think say so, system would I really like for no say a poor man I sell um can just buy a couple of fall and, and raise egg like, and, and, and get whether just do something. So why you think them I try for see if all the time you hear them I say like I help them I help. You really think I help them I help they want for no year business. Why they need for no year business so they can get some out of your business. Not joke about it bro. It's a serious thing. Me may be jovial and a lot of my little statement them and thing, but in reality, them don't really want so when me mind a brother, then them come in, you know, brother, for you mind them, you know. Cause that's what it's all about, you know. And mind you and mind them, you know. And in the day when you want help, you know, bro, you're not getting help from them. So the whole thing is just Beatrix, bro. You have to know. You have to have a link with somebody where 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 have a link. You see me? A lot of you like you were so qualified and thing and thing. Whatever it is, the, the system know because you left school with the much much subjects. So them know your qualification. So them should have something waiting for you. Something where you can see a way out. But as I said to you, them design it like that. Because you have some of you them out there where a bus going to bright, bright boy them too, you know, bro. Some of them are bright boy, you know, but I feel like them dance. 
Cause enough I scam at them in a bed and I ramp around them brain. Yes, man. Um, but but taxes, taxes. I mean, your your few little dollars that you pay in taxes. Remember, you know, those people in the upper class they pay way more tax on a dollar for dollar basis. Yes, we are taking a larger percentage of your income, but they are paying us way way more. And yes, I know people can argue that these these people hire lawyers and and special strategies to to pay less and less tax. But you know. They are still paying more tax than you are. I was in the middle of editing, but this just in, or rather, this just not in. Andrew Wellness and the nurse are just trying to pull off one of the biggest magic trick on live camera, and it no work. You no look for yourself. You no see say. No, you no, you no get the vaccine. You no get. The, see, she all push her and she she if you look, she she all push her and out of the camera over one side and do what she had do and do not take no vaccine brother <laughs> him just a trick the crowd yo watch a video <laughs> All right, people, I want to look on a couple things in another video. First and foremost, notice say yes, she actually. She actually um show away when she put the vaccine in the in the syringe, right? But remember say the cameraman, you know, on the far side where the behind her, you know, where that can see when the nigga go in. You know. She use her body and block him. She use her body and she block him film view, right? After that, she use her hand. She use her hand, you know, right? And block the frontal view from the camera we are seeing. You know. And when time she actually put it, put the needle, she quickly take the needle from which part there, and you put it round the far side where the camera now nah looking. You know. All right. Apart from that, make we look on all his face, look on him eye, look on him and no, no twitch, no, not at all, right? If you even a mosquito bite you, you would flinch. And the nigga like a juke you, and you no move wellness. You no move, and a nigga juke you. Yeah, tell me, say, you get it. From what I can see, from what I can see, I don't know if some if there is going to be other angles that is going to come out. But from what I can see, Andrew Wellness, don't take the vaccine. He mongle put on a charade for people. See, he no take no vaccine. Remember, I won't tell you no. Don't go follow him, cause him not take no vaccine. Every time I look on it, every time I look on it, it's like an amateur I do a magic trick. It's an amateur I do a magic trick. I first I'm try it, first I'm attempt it. You see me? So you can see them above the shop. It, 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 it's like a trick work. Like enough people will believe say yes, it work. But then you have them, you have the people who actually see what I go on and say yo. Then see exactly wall through the trick. Something you yeah, know see where go down. Right? But let's talk about the vaccine. So first and foremost, what exactly is a vaccine? Right? And if you ask various persons, you'll get different answer. But let me tell you what the, what I, I found on the internet. So according to the World Health Organization, vaccine, what is vaccination? Vaccination is a simple, safe, effective way of protecting people against harmful disease because they come before they come in contact with them. It uses your natural your body's natural defense to build up resistance to a specific infection and makes your immune system stronger vaccination train your immune immune system to create antibodies 
just as it does when it is exposed to a disease. However, because vaccine contain only killed or weakened form of germs like virus or bacteria, they do not cause the disease or put you at risk of complication. Most vaccines are given by injection, some are given orally or through nasal spray. Alright, cool. That's not important. What we need, need, need to focus on is because vaccine contain only a killed or weakened form of the, the germs this is not what we are seeing with this um these quote-unquote vaccines that is not what we are seeing we are seeing mrna now what is mrna and for the for just for clarification this this um definition was updated the 22nd of february 2021 all right so what is m uh, what is rna RNA is a strand of protein that tells cells how to create a certain protein. It's a, it's a strand of genes, a strand um, similar to DNA that tells the body how to create a certain protein. In this case, a uh, antibody, right? So, what is mRNA? mRNA is really memory RNA. It, it's a, um, a piece of RNA, right, that is used now to create the antibodies for a specific antigen or, or for a specific um, di, um, germ. Yeah, for a specific germ. So basically, if your body is exposed to the virus to a virus it, your body will then develop mrna of its own <laughs> to fight this virus right so these are memory rna so these memory rna so this is a strand of rna used to create protein and it's a mem it's mem it remembers because it's for that specific virus all right so if they are going to give you a mRNA um, vaccine, it is not the same as giving you what this definition calls a killed or weakened form of the germ. It is not that because they are bypassing the step where your body identifies the, the disease. The, the germ and and tries to develop antibodies what they are sending what they are injecting into you is basically the instructions for creating the antigen proteins right for creating the antibodies so they are bypassing your body <laughs> so how oh, is this a vaccine this is not a vaccine right no so the next thing that is important is how do vaccines work how do they work all right so vaccines work because of how the body works so how does the body work let's get talk about how the body works, and then we can go how um vaccine utilize this how the body works if the body is exposed to a flu virus for example right regular flu virus just a flu virus first time it's seen it what the body does the body will try and figure out because um there's a lock and key mechanism so basically the virus is the lock the body needs to create the key and once the key is applied to the lock it will unlock the the the, 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 the lock so what happens when when it, the lock becomes unlocked well basically the virus or germ will disintegrate and die that's what that's the that's what all the antibody works right so what does the virus do what, what does the vaccine do the vaccine is going to get a sample whether dead or weakened of the virus or bacteria right 
another way another way that they can do it is that they can create an inert meaning it's a harmless version of the virus it's harmless but it has the same spike or it have is it basically the same lock so it's a lock it, it, it doesn't it won't do the damage as the real virus but it it can be it will be unlocked with the exact same key going back to the same lock and key mechanism um metaphor right so what happened is give you this inert virus right your body is going to start make antibodies to fight this virus so once it builds up this this these antibodies it creates mRNA it creates a memory of this so if I buck up in this virus again I don't have to go trying to build a new key trying to cut a key to fit this virus I already have the key so I'm like okay I know this virus send out these soldiers to go and fight this virus and then you so you can go quickly quickly into fighting the virus meaning meaning once you go quickly into fighting this virus your you being ill will be the time of you being ill will be shortened probably to the to the point where you do not feel ill <laughs> or you do not become transmissible you don't get to spread it to anybody else no this happens this literally happens when you get a flu shot it helps right or if you get a flu if you get a flu you can't get back that same flu but the flu virus mutates so quickly that there is always going to be some version of the flu that you can get right but as i say that's how vaccines work or that's how they are supposed to work this mysterious liquid that they're injecting into into you that's not how it work <laughs> that is not how it work right that's not how it work it it bypasses all that and start making antigens now back to the the the, 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 the situation of antigens now the purpose of vaccination is to give you a exposure to a virus without giving you the virus or the symptoms of the virus right once you have gotten this exposure your body will be able to become armed and dangerous when it comes to this specific germ right all right cool so here's the thing if that be the case right it's supposed to allow your body to start building up antigens but if no one is testing anyone for antigens before they vaccinate how does that work if i for example they say they vaccinated trump why vaccinate trump if trump already had covid19 that doesn't make any kind of sense to me why does he need to be vaccinated if he's already had the virus <laughs> somebody explain that to me right all right so then then we go to the, the various strains but if these vaccines were not made for that strain how much better a defense will it give us than if we had a random strain how much better because remember it's supposed to be our, our bodies creating these anti antibodies you know? so i do not believe that this this vaccine you know but one other thing that I, I know is going to happen, one other thing that I'm sure is going to happen, is that once the vaccine becomes widely widely available, they're going there's going to be a lot of incentives. They are saying it's, go, it's not going to be mandatory, but there are going to be a lot of incentives. Incentives like not having to wear masks, incentives like being able to go to parties, and all of these incentives are going to get people remember you you that say you're not at the vaccine these incentives are going to get you to to come and take the vaccine because of whatever bribery they are they are they are like for example they are, they are bribing our elders telling them that they can get ten thousand dollars for for taking the vaccine that is not good a vaccine mark you that you have no redress for should in case it, it do you some harm 
right so i don't know instead of us overemphasizing and over focusing on this vaccine right we need to know exactly what is going on Andrew, you have a you have a clean sweep you make a clean sweep last year and i think it was strategic because you knew what nonsense you were going to do i don't think you would have the same chance this this year trust me anyways let me know what you guys think about this vaccine and this curfew in the comments below see you next time thank you